We often hear about the bravery and dedication of our police officers, but sometimes it's the everyday citizens who step in to lend a hand when it's needed most. Whether it's a quick-thinking passerby or a courageous neighbor, these good Samaritans prove that heroism isn't limited to those in uniform. Here are moments when ordinary people went above and beyond to help the police. Let's dive into it. This Los Angeles police deputy was about to interrogate a man, but didn't expect what happened next. The man was willing to challenge him, resulting in a fight. A few passers-by witnessed the deputy tussling with the man for several minutes. The situation became intense. Then things uh, escalated. Yelling, get your hand off my gun. So then I went in and I ripped the dude's hands off the officer's gun and then one of the other Good Samaritans took the clip out and slid it away just in case. Three men intervened to help the deputy. Tame the man. At this point, the deputy was quite relieved that he got help. The three men also had to keep him immobile for a few more minutes until the backup police arrived at the scene to arrest the man. The men were appreciated and recognized by the deputy and police for their bravery. Congrats to those three brave and courageous men who decided to step in. But while there was a police at the scene immediately, our next case was different. There was no police in sight at the beginning. The next case takes us to Seattle. In the scene, you can see two men, one with a gun, the other with a knife. If you think the gun man is a suspect, then you are wrong. The man with the knife was about to run after he had just stabbed a woman who was walking down with her four-year-old baby. Investigators believe that the suspect is the father to the baby, and the stabbed woman would likely be his wife or mistress. The man with the gun was trying to hold off the suspect until the police arrives. While the suspect clearly doesn't care, as you can see him walking forwards towards a gunman, who kept retrieving while trying to buy time. That standoff lasted minutes, and the suspect was not backing down instead. He asked the gunman to shoot him instead. The suspect was gaining the upper hand mentally as many people witnessed the standoff while passing. Eventually another passerby decided to help as he pepper sprayed the suspect in an attempt to calm and unarm him. He was not successful, as it did not get close enough to get the knife. While this was happening, the woman in pain was getting help and was in critical condition, as there was multiple stabbing to her neck. It was learned that the woman divorced or separated with the suspect, who decided to attack her, as he believes that he has nothing more to live for. She took away his kids, um, and he has no reason to live. She stabbed her in the neck. It looked pretty serious. It's just kind of crazy because that stuff doesn't usually happen in Seattle Center. Yeah, it's kind of scary, I guess. More scarier for the people probably in my pizza. In a few moments, there was officers in the scene who surrounded the suspect and tazzed him. Luckily, the bystander with the gun didn't get to fire any shot. <laughs> Leaving. This cop didn't expect to see himself on the floor. This is Officer Jim. He was posted to office duties, but he has never liked being in the office. Sergeant Greg Baldwin is on desk duty, and he hates it. Hopefully. After all, he didn't join the police to seat still. He wanted to catch criminals. Cuffs on him. He uh, took off running. That was what he set out to do. He went out to catch a suspect. The suspect took off and he tried to pursue him at full speed. He couldn't believe what happened next. I first thought I'd been shot because of the pain and the, the feeling in my leg. He strained his legs and tore a ligament on his leg. In no time, a woman, a mother of two named Elizabeth, was at the scene to help the cop. She was a massage therapist, and with her skills, she helped Officer Jim relieve his pain until the paramedics arrived to help the officer. After a couple of months, it became clear how helpful that moment was for them. I grew up in a medical home. My mom is an orthopedic nurse. I just, I just wanted to just make him stop being in pain. Okay. Just 
just try to calm him down i'm scared of officers i'm not gonna lie to you but i, I had to look past that to help him you know it was also very helpful for her to overcome her fear of cops that was a very brave moment for that beautiful woman. And hearing the screaming, the fighting, the sirens, for you to have the courage to not lock your doors and come out to help me, it says a lot. Maybe not so much. We shouldn't be scared of police officers. They're humans like us. We should be able to help them when they're in need. As she displayed courage and help to a cop in need. These cops just stopped a man for questioning. What they didn't know was they were in for a chase, and there he goes. Immediately, an officer gave him a chase. The distance increased, and the cop was having problems catching him. Then this guy just shows up. A good Samaritan see the cop chase and jumps in to tackle the suspect. The guy was not just standing, though. He was actually the one who just drove past in a pickup truck before the chase. He spotted the chase and parked ahead to help the cop get the suspect. He wanted to help, and the cops were so impressed by his action. I had citizens assist me, but never uh, tackling a suspect that's running away. So um, to get all that on body cam footage and just to witness it firsthand, I mean, it's pretty amazing. Well, what the Good Samaritan did was deliver a good tackle. Our next Good Samaritan had a lot to do. Here, an elder man was just robbed of his belongings before being punched by the thief in a restaurant in Los Angeles, California. The restaurant owner was not having none of it. Turned and hit me once in the face, which, you know, it is what it is, but I took him down and just kept him there till the police arrived. As he jumps in to tackle the thief, they held him down while waiting for cops to arrive at the scene. I had literally just gone to the bank also, so all my money fell out of my pocket too, right in the middle of the street. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be interesting how this goes down. On the video, you sat on that guy for like nine minutes. Yes, it was, I'm not going to lie, the adrenaline was a lot at that point, And afterwards, it was exhausting. I felt like I had worked out the next day for quite a bit. The officers and I have talked about it, and they're tired of it. A lot of people like myself are tired of this type of thing happening. So we're seeing it more and more of people just you know, not putting up with it and taking it into their own hands, which I'm glad for, and I'd happily do it again. Uh, we're, we're just looking for a guy that had a gray shirt, but he had something else This on the cop so was on the lookout thanks. for a suspect no, close good, to you. the fuel station, and it was not long before he met him. 246, I'll be out with them. Uh, we're going to be right by the pumps on the uh, west side. How you doing, man? Hey, somebody called and said they were worried about you, said you were asking for water or something. What? Are you doing okay? Save. What? Sorry? Hey, don't touch. Dude. Come here. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. The guy tries to attack the cop who tries to question him. The guy tries to run from Step the cop who quickly got help from the good guys around. The guy on the white shirt really did a good job using his speed and strength to catch the suspect. Thanks, guys. While this suspect looks dumb, the next suspect was a very smart criminal as he was chased by cops after he stole a vehicle. 26-year-old Devin, a former high school track athlete and trained security guard, was in the right place at the right time. I saw him, the suspect running all the way down, and he was already like 50 yards from the uh, officer. So I turned around and uh, sped up and blocked him in, and I got out the car and started running. This guy. He keep driving in an attempt to get away. He took several turns and cuts through the streets tried to pull him over, but they say he took off. The pursuit winding up and down the beltway near Fairbanks and in and out of neighborhoods before finally ending behind this industrial complex. When he ran out of fuel, he parked behind a complex. This made the police think that the chase has ended, but boy, they were wrong. The suspect soon jumps the perimeter fence and makes a run. That was where our good Samaritan jumped in. He ran after the suspect who was very fast. The suspect even removed his shoes to make sure he ran faster. In stay down, don't move. He said, okay, I'm gonna stay down. No time the suspect was caught with a big hug. He was tackled and handed to the cops. 
Like I wish them the best, like you learn from your first mistake. Like whenever you get out, try to be on your best behavior and not get in no more trouble. While our good Samaritan was a young 25 year old dude, the age of our next Samaritan is a shock. The cops were just engaged in a run with a suspect in Ohio. When this granddad, who was very old and walks with a cane, decided to be the hero of the day, the granddad was leaving the library with her daughter when he spotted the suspect being chased by the cops. Can your granddad be so calm and cool? His grandchildren has a proud moment to remember. I saw who you guys were chasing, and I could see that he was holding something in his waistband while he was running from you guys, but he had a pretty good lead on your closest officer just coming my way, so I got in his way to slow him down so you guys could get him. And I know once he got to the building, he's going to have to go left or right, and if he went to the right, he's going to run straight into the police. If he went to the left, he was coming by me. I heard him hit, and then the gun went sliding out. He went one way and the gun went another and then he went after to try to retrieve the gun as fast as he could and that's when I ducked out of the way. It's amazing to see how everyday people can make such a big difference, isn't it? Whether it's stepping in during a tense situation or simply being vigilant and alert. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe as we have some more to upload. Thanks for watching.